Let's dive into this Viking schedule and bust out a prediction. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lopagus show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus, and yesterday we did we did game. What do you call it? We did storylines. Story but the story is over. Today we're gonna talk about each game. We're gonna come up with a prediction. Uh, we're gonna win these games. We're gonna lose them. We're gonna figure this out right now. Yeah, we're gonna do a deep dive into this schedule. Really take a look at every damn game, and uh, we definitely want to see your comments uh, as far as very early. What do you predict the Vikings' record to be? Yeah, well, let's hear it. And let's start with you know, let's start with our predictions. Let's start with game one. Packers coming to town week one. What do you think? Well, week one coming to town, Packers. What uh, I don't mind the Packers week one. I see a lot of people complaining. Like, oh, I wish the Packers weren't week one. Blah blah blah. I don't mind that. I don't like the three o'clock game. I wish it was noon. I want to get to my appetizers early. It's week one. I want to see it very very quickly. Um, but it is what it is. Also, I wish this was at Lambeau. I would have loved for the uh, home game against the Packers to be later in the season. But uh, I'm not scared of the Packers. Last 10 games, Vikings are 5-4-1 and one against Green Bay. I think Green Bay is going to be worse this year, and Zedaria Smith is going to light their ass up. Yeah, here's the difference. The Packers came to town in 2020. We had no no one in the stands. The crowd's going to be pumped. The players are going to be pumped, trying to prove their new coach, how good they are, how good this team is. They want to win for Kevin O'Connell. Win for, for Kevin. Win for Kevin. This isn't, this isn't just going to be a victory. This is going to be a ass kicking by the Vikings. They're going to totally dominate the Packers. And this game, this is a tone setter game. You lose this game, sets the tone for your season. You win this game, it also sets the tone. So huge game, week one. Vikings win. Would you throw that pen across the room? No, I, I need it. I'm keeping track of my. You're not keeping loss. notes. You don't have a notepad in front of you. I do. Oh wow! All right, so Packers. I need to know the record when I'm done. That pen away. It's bugging me. <laughs> not. Not going to do it. All right. Next up, they travel to the Philadelphia Eagles on a Monday night game. Week two, Monday night. We hate the Eagles. Everybody hates the Eagles. This is a revenge game from 2017 NFC C Championship. Eagles fans, very rude to Vikings fans. All Vikings fans said, no way in hell am I going back to that shithole of a stadium. Here's the thing. They got Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts can win you the game. He can also lose you the game. This case, I know it's Monday night. Vikings don't always do good Monday night. This is the case. He's going to lose the, the Eagles the game. Vikings are going to no. I'm, I'm marked on our win here in my notepad. I'm not giving my prediction till the end. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm, 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 I'm going to be very secretive about this. Eagles were surprisingly 9-8 and eight last year. When I saw that, I was I, I thought they were much worse. They, add, they had a very good draft. They added Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, Cam Jurgens, and A.J. Brown. So, I expect the Eagles to be better. But I hate the Eagles. I hate them more than anything in the world. And the Vikings will take care of business on the road on Monday night. All right, week three, Detroit Lions come to town. The knee biters themselves. What do you see? How do you see this thing going down? Aiden Hutchinson. i gotta got to be honest. I'm a little scared about this guy. And the Lions, I think, are definitely on a little bit on the uptick here. So uh, DJ Chark as well. Um, I'm not going to say my prediction on this, but I'm, I'm not as confident – as I was in the past when you play the Lions. I mean, we gave them their first win last year, uh, and they're going to be better. So even though it's at home, yeah. kind of start respecting well, the be, Lions a little bit. This will be a competitive game. Lions are better. They're a team on the up and up, and uh, it's going to be a hard-fought game, but it's a game the Vikings are going to win. All right, next up, they, uh, we go to we go to London. Damn it, now I'm it's doing the Australian thing. I, <laughs> I do not have a good accent for England. We bit the spotted dick. I don't know what the hell that's in that yeah, was. We bit the spotted T. There we go. Uh, so we're going spotted to play the Saints. Uh, Saints, again, a team that was 9-8 and eight that I, I'm i just more surprised about the record. I thought they were worse than that. They uh, This team relies on Jameis Winston. Whatever this guy does, game in and game out, he can go out there and throw five touchdowns and go through five, five interceptions. So uh, the fact that it's 8-30, got to have beer Moses. That's all I know. This one... Okay, question number one question for you. Do you hate the Saints less now that butthole mouth is gone? Yeah, uh, now that butthole mouth is gone, I don't mind the Saints one damn bit, to be honest. I don't care. I never minded I still- Drew Brees. I didn't really mind any of their players. It was Sean Payton, and now he's gone. So the Saints are like the – they're like the Titans. Just have – don't care. They're dead They're dead to you. Um, You know, this one's hard to call because it's a London game. Teams often come out flat when they go over and eat that spotted dick. 
couple nights before the game, but I still think the Vikings are the better team. I'm getting the Vikings their fourth win here. Saints did add, uh, Saints added uh, Olave, Panning. They added some very good pieces in the draft, and then they just signed Landry today. So uh, they'll be better, but the Saints do not scare me. You know who else no. doesn't scare me? I'm going to guess the Chicago Bears. Week five does not scare me. Dante Pettis, uh, Tajay Sharp, Velas Jones come to town. Dakota Dozier revenge game. Bears coming to U.S. Bank Stadium, and the Vikings will easily win this one. They should. I mean, the Bears, the Bears six and eleven last year, and on paper they've only gotten worse. Justin Fields, who knows? Maybe he comes out and just lights shit up. I'm not expecting it with his supporting cast, but Vikings swept the Bears last year. Fully expected again this year, and Ryan Poles will be one and done. I can't wait till he has to resign because he said what he said. Uh, week six, the Vikings go to Miami, and I'm gonna. I think should probably win this one, but it's a it's a long road trip. I'm actually gonna give the Vikings their first loss here. Well, uh, Tyreek Hill, Dolphins uh, nine and eight last year. I think they have definitely gotten better. Big season for their quarterback. Uh, and I think they have a better coaching staff. So Mike McDaniel's that, that guy will be very fun to watch. Yeah, uh, I mean, Tua doesn't have the arm to get it down. We saw it in their hype video where he undershot Tyree Kill by about seven yards. Uh, I'm not scared of Tua, but Tyree Kill. Again, no, I mean he didn't overthrow him, he underthrew him. And Tyree no, I said nobody back. can overthrow him. I can't. Not possible. Yeah. Anyway, so I think this is a game the Vikings should probably win, really. I think they're the better team, but it's a long road trip. AFC team, I, I just the home team is, should be favored in this one. Well, uh, and this is the first game before the bye. And and personally, when I look at this schedule, every game before the bye, I don't think it could have worked out any better. I wish we didn't have a Monday night game so early. I, I wish we didn't have the London game. I wish we were in Lambeau, but I, I also well, wish I had not flaming red hair. It doesn't happen, but I love the games before this. And I think the Vikings are set up to have a pretty good record before the bye. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. I bet you do. All right. So week eight, Arizona Cardinals come back to town. You called this the Greg Joseph revenge game. Uh, Vikings going to win this one? What do you think? What's going to go on here? I know you're not going to give you a prediction, but. Well, I don't think I'm going to have a popular opinion here. Cardinals were 11-6 last year. I think they're just going to be worse. I I think they kind of peaked. I'm not – I mean, uh, Kyler Murray, all the drama this offseason, whatever. They added Marquise Brown, Trey McBride, Ertz. I hate the fact that they have those guys. I think they could do some damage. But I'm not really that scared of the Cardinals. I, and I'm yeah, over. Who knows what Kyler Murray you're going to see. You're going to see the early Kyler Murray from last year or the late Kyler Murray who was, who was horrible. Throwing, under-throwing guys, missing throws, just off. So hard to say, but I do think the Vikings win this one. I got him at six and one right yeah, now. Yeah, you're gonna have us. I mean, you might as well have us. Uh, you are we just gonna be sixteen and one? Now we go to Washington to face the Commanders. Commanders Cousins and Carson going back where it all Wentz. Started. Carson Wentz. Washington seven and ten last year. Very surprising that they ended with that record with that defense. They're gonna live and die by their defense. Carson Wentz isn't going to lead them to a victory. If their defense comes out, Chase Young's whooping up our ass. We're not going to win. But uh, Washington's kind of like the Dolphins. They show up. They're a very good team. I disagree. I think, actually, even if their defense whoops our ass, this is going to be a game the Vikings win, like, 13 to 10. Yeah, it's because you have us at 16 and 1. Either way, the Vikings win this one. I have them at 7 and 1 right now. I'm not telling you what I have them at. Next up, Week 10, Buffalo Bills, James Cook, Stefan Diggs, Kyrie Elam, the guy I would have loved, loved the Vikings to draft. The Bills... Clearly not in February. Not in February. You are not a career even fan. No, well, we'll see how good he is. Uh, yeah, the Vikings are much improved, but they are not a Buffalo Bill caliber team yet. They're At not the Bills. Bills. Vikings, At the Bills. Vikings, Vikings lose this one. And uh, probably get thrown through a table as well. Now, Dallas Cowboys return to U.S. Bank Stadium for like the fourth year in a row. Cooper Rush killed us last year. What's going to happen this time? Remember when they took Tyler Smith in round one? Gross. Yuck. Yuck. Gross. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I don't know. Cowboys are kind of like the, the Cardinals in my mind. Ship has sailed. I mean, they guess they got some very good players. 
Cooper's gone. They still got some good receivers, still got some good players. But the Cowboys, even though they were 12 and 5 last year, not scared. Not scared one no. damn bit. I think this will be a fun game to watch. I think it'll be a lot of points. I think the Vikings will win. Of course you do. Let's go to the Patriots. Patriots and Cole night. Strange. Cole Strange led Patriots in week 12. 10 and 7 last year. What do you got shaking? Yeah, you know, you got the you got the Thursday night game. So everybody's gonna be full of turkey, battling the trypto fan to stay awake. Um just you. I'm gonna be I, I might be too full to even drink a beer during this one. I really am not super excited about the, the timing of this game, to be honest with you. But Kevin O'Connell's gonna want to beat Bill Belichick so damn bad. I think the players are gonna dig down deep. I think the Vikings are gonna win this one. I have them going nine and two right now. Can you just like stop predicting? This is getting go, grab, grab your pen. Ever since I told you to get rid of your pen, it has not made an appearance. Did you throw it? I've had it. I've had it. <laughs> Uh, I will be able to find room for a beer. I'm not going to stuff myself silly. I'm going to play it real safe that day so I can indulge during the game. But they added Devontae Parker, but I, I think Mac Jones is going to like come back to life a little bit. He had a very good rookie season, but I, I think teams are going to figure him out this year a little bit. So the 10-7 and 7 Patriots last year, I think they're going to be more of a 8-9 uh, and nine team this year. So the Patriots, again, not scared. And I, I love a Thanksgiving game. I wish it was earlier, but that's not in the cards. Yeah, so we got a three-game homestand here. It finishes with the New York Jets coming to town, a team that is getting better. <laughs> they got some nice pieces. They got no, nice young not. core, no. but the core has not yet blossomed. The core is still yep. a seed. It needs to blossom. How many, how many rounds has the Jets gone through a nice young core and they still suck? I mean, they did get a very good draft. Wilson, Hall, I like Jermaine Johnson, but they never put it together. No, they got they got Salano. I like I like their coach. I know he's there last year, but I feel like he's the guy who can maybe turn things around there in New York. So uh, they got Konkadonk. Konkadonk's coming back. Konkadonk is gonna get beat by his former team at his old stomping grounds. Of course, I got the Vikings at ten and two. Ten and two. All right, we get we're, we're you got PA over here uh, at ten and two. So uh, the Jets are horrible. I, I love their draft, but they're not going to get any better. Next up, we go at Detroit Lions, week fourteen. Yeah, at Detroit, again, uh, I think the Vikings win a close one the first time. And actually, I'm going to give this one to the home team. I think the Lions are going to they're gonna be in the thick of things here. They're going to be relevant here. Week 14, the Lions are going to be in the mix. I'm going to say they steal one from the Vikings here. Somehow they beat us. Vikings go to 10-3. Yeah, Jamison Williams will probably get our first look at him in uh, week 14. And hopefully we shut his ass down. Andrew Booth putting a shoulder in him, laying him into the ground. Next Ugh. up, week 15, Colts, 9-8 and eight last year. They had Matt Ryan, your boy Jelani Woods, wide receiver Alec Pierce. Uh, the Colts seem to have only gotten better. Yeah, Colts are a good team. And here's the question. It's all coming on Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan's had good games against the Vikings. He's had horseshit games against the Vikings. What Matt Ryan are we going to see? I, I'm going to give this one to the Vikings because we're at home, but it's very really close. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I put the the, the bad games uh, more on the Falcons opposed to Matt Ryan when he's played us. So the Colts, I think they're going to be damn good this year. I think they're going to be they good. Are. They are. No, who, won't be good. Be good. who won't be good is week 16, and that is the Giants. They will not be good. There's no way. Well, and let's can. factor in where we are in the schedule here. Week 16, the Giants are going to probably have be a 3-4 win team, maybe a 5 win team. They'll probably fire their coach by – I'm not going to fire their coach, but – Maybe the GM's gone. There's some turmoil there. They got nothing to play for. Giants, Christmas Eve. What a gift. The Vikings, 12th win. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they got Thibodeau, Evan Neal. I think Kadiris Tony is going to have himself a breakout season. I'm, I'm, I'm on that choo-choo train. And they got Wandale Robinson, too, <laughs> who I loved more than anything. But they're still going to suck. And, uh, yeah, at Christmas Eve, I, I'm very glad we're playing the Giants on Christmas Eve. Uh, next up, week 17, Green Bay again, a three o'clock game. Is it again? Three o'clock New Year's Rascals. Day. Rascals. At Green Bay. Hey, week seven, cool. Yeah. Every year I predict the schedule. I always split these two, and I always say the Vikings will win at home and the, they will lose on the road. Hopefully, Kirk Cousins is the quarterback this time, not Shy Manny and not Kellen Mond. Uh, I think the Packers will win this one, and the uh, Vikings will drop to 12 and 4. All right, uh, final, final. Seems like we end with these guys every damn year in Chicago. So the Chicago Bears weekend to round out the season. What do you think? 
Well, here's the thing. I mean, Vikings right now they're twelve and four, nothing to play for. You're gonna rest. Well, they're twelve and four in your mind. Just let's be clear. <laughs> rest Justin Jefferson. You're rest Daniel Hunter. Zaria Smith getting the day off. You're resting all your players. You don't give a shit about this game. You're gonna lose this one, and you don't care. Everybody's gonna stay warm, not get frostbite, not get hurt. Twelve and five is get ready for the playoffs. So after all those victories, we end up losing the final game against Chicago. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, we, it's it's a forfeit. We don't care. We're just letting that one go. Sean Mannion could beat this Bears team. <laughs> Maybe. Red Maybe Hundley could I, beat I, this Bears team. I didn't factor that in. Anybody could beat this Bears team. <laughs> All right. That is the schedule. So what's your final record? What do you got the Bears or what do you got the Vikings at? Well, uh 16 and 1. Let me look at I'm at 12 and 5. 12 and 5. 12 and 5, one of the best turnarounds ever in NFL history. Um, I have them at uh, what do I got them at? 10 and 7. I got them at 10 and 7. I think they're going to start out very strong. They got a real tough stretch there and kind of in the mid to late season. I think they'll finish strong too, but uh, that, that's where I got them. I think that's, I don't know. I think I'm in the vicinity. Well, and some things that, that are hard to factor in is like, I mean, like Mick Zimmer always kind of never showed, his teams never show up in primetime games. Well, Kevin O'Connell's team show up. Uh, that's kind of to me the biggest, really the biggest X factor here because the game's, and also the games you're expected to win, a backup quarterback coming in. That's the games the Vikings would fold on under Mike Zimmer. So are those things going to change? Are those things going to stay the same? A couple question marks. We're not going to really know until halfway through the season. Yeah, I mean, even though I have them uh, with a worse record than Lepagus, I think we will be kings of the north. I think the Packers are going to absolutely shit their pants, and the Lions might actually finish second. They might. They might. Will be scary. They might. All right, so let's hear your predictions in the comments. We already asked you for them. Let's see what you got. What is this record going to be? How good is this Viking team going to be? Will they live up to the hype uh, and the expectations that uh, I set for hype. <laughs> All right. And while you're thinking about that, remember this. During medieval times, there was a celebration called the Feast of the Ass that occurred every January 14th. 